based on feeling and emotions and trying to touch the soul, right? So for me, I would be thinking about my wife and, and, and how she's, she is my best friend. Um, and one of the lines says, lucky I'm in love with my best friend. And that's very, very meaningful um, because how, how we are in this relationship. And, and uh, it'll go like this. Do you hear me? I'm talking to you across the water, across the deep blue ocean under the open sky. Oh my baby, I'm trying. And then, and then, so that's, um, that, that would be really more talking about it. Right. Um, and then one of the phrases goes, lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home again. And that's kind of like what you, when we met earlier in the week, you said oh, the way I wrote it, um, that, that whole talk I was going to do about, um, about um, the environment and, 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 and as I was coaching a kid um, about writing their essay, I took out some of the lines that I've written. Um, I'll go back to the line, and it says, young people all around the earth are crying out and even marching to say that we need to end the coal age, right? That was the line. And I took it out and said, people are crying out, saying that we need to end the coal age. That's different. That's different because it left out all that stuff. Um, and sometimes you want it to be that succinct, and other times you want the details. And I look at singing and, and songs as I need to sing it so that I deserve the song, not to just sing the song for singing the song. And we, um, we worked on a couple of songs today. Lucky was one of them. And that opened me up and then f followed by, you know, the classic um, um, Elvis Presley's I Can't Help Falling in Love With You, right? So that one, I broke it up. And instead of saying, you know, just singing the song like I, I once did, um, now I would say when he says, wise men say only fools rush in, that's not me saying. I'm just quoting, right? So, uh, so I should say like, wise men say only fools rush in. But I can't help falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can't help falling in love with you? Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. So it's almost like I, I'm engaging. I'm, I'm, I focus more on engaging with the song. Forget about the hitting the notes and that, but more like into the engagement. And I, and I found accidentally that I hit the notes better, that the pitch and all that, as opposed to let me make sure my pitch is right, and I'm just singing these words, and I'm just, why, no, nothing's coming through. I'm just saying wise men say only fools rush in, you know, and, and I'm not sure if you, I, I wanted you to hear this because it might, um, you might have, you always have, right, <laughs> some suggestions and comments and things like that, you know. She thought it was outrageous. It was different. It was so much better. Yeah. Oh. No. Um, no. I mean, so I had much less emotion when I sang before. Um, I would speak much better than how I sang. And now, now that I've read the lyrics and think about it and really spend some time on the thought, 
especially since I have this grant for doing the healing with the with the um, with the cells and, and and the body. That's when I started taking a lot seriously, and I'm the weakest link. I mean, everybody else can do this. Like my wife can do this. Um, and she says, you "Used to be like it just wouldn't come across very well. Be like a robot singing, right?" And then and then, um, but I would speak much better. And then and then now with what you just said, it makes it makes me think a lot, like deeply about how could I have um, spoken with, like, how do you do that, right? Yeah, are you born that way or do you learn it? I'm not, I've, I'm not sure if I was born that way, but I've got something, right? Something must be going on. Um, and I have, a, have another um, story to share with you is yesterday I had the show um, and, um, and I, I've always had this eczema on my leg like both legs and it could get really severe but i've now gotten it much better under control because i won't eat certain things i won't eat the soy i won't have the wheat and sometimes i'll still have the wheat just because i want to try if i can do it um and um the more natural i went the um at first it didn't work because it was almost like it was purging like all this junk had to come out but then i got it down to a control uh, point and I showed my leg on the show yesterday. I climbed on this table, right, and this camera, and I raised. I showed my leg, and and the amount of comments I got from people afterwards uh, is that they appreciate the honesty. That I I can also be sick, and then and when you sing, I feel that, especially if I do it this way, um, I'm I'm honest about it. Um, I'm honest about my feelings and, and, and I have to keep checking because I'm so, let me get, I give you an example. Imagine if I was doing math problems while I was singing, can't help falling in love with you. That's me. That was me. That would be, it's kind of ugly, you know, disgusting in the sense, how would you do math while singing a love song? <laughs> but, but that's the, that's how, um, I wasn't born that way, but as I trained and trained, and as a scientist, you kind of become more mechanical about it, that that just became um, that even though this other side of me was buried in there, and if only I could, but nobody could. It was almost like um, if we sang London Bridge is Falling Down, and as long as we don't think about the lyrics, it's okay, you know, la, 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 right? But if we thought about the lyrics, we're thinking like, why would you write that? Why would you keep chanting that, right? So, um, so lyrics do matter, and your engagement matters, and and it shows in the cells. If I if I sing the song and I'm not engaged, I can actually see that the cells don't respond. And if I add a lot of music to help it along to create the the background, the cells don't like it. You might think it's fine, right? But we, as people, we, we we think it's all right, but but it's not, and 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 and. That's so mysterious and yet so so true when you um, when you look at us as humans and human beings and what is this all about? We're not we don't want just want to hear someone um, sing pitch perfect, right? <laughs> because because it is it, we want to hear that the heart, the soul. Um, so that means perhaps we do have a soul, right? And when you start thinking about it that way, what about the person who gets sick? Who is um, who's a hard worker, non-emotional, and just works, 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 never in touch with their body, so that when they do get sick, and you want to use the art and the music to to help them, there's too much uh, too much stuff in between, right? Um, and then does it matter? Every little bit matters. I've noticed, even with the camera, right? When we went through the cameras. Um, especially when you compare them, the camera matters, the mic matters, but most importantly is if I'm not engaged and this, this stuff doesn't, doesn't, doesn't help it. It just magnifies the disengagement, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, I worked hard to hit those notes before, and then once I'm engaged, I didn't have to. Um, I didn't have to. Um, and, and the thing is that it's other people's lyrics, too. You know, all these are not, not my own. And I'm, I'm thinking, that's just, that's just so peculiar, you know, Katie. It's so peculiar. Um, it's like, um, we did, so we did four songs earlier. We did, we did those two, and then, and then we also did Your Song by Elton John. And we did, um, and then we did Smile. Um, and, um, and in Your Song... I sang it like, it's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. I don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. If I was a sculptor, huh, yet... Yeah, then again, no, or a man who makes potions in a traveling show. I know it's not much, but it's the best I can do. My gift is my song, and this one's for you. And you can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is. Now you're in my world. So she was saying, like, that's so different than what you were. It's like I, I, uh, the lights turned on, you know, it's like something happened. And, um, and it's, um, I changed the, the article the to my world, like you're in my world. And I, I think about the, um, I see you smiling, this warm smile. If only you could see how, bad, how terrible it was beforehand. I didn't know when I was singing. I was just singing. I was singing, but I didn't know what I was singing. Yeah. Yeah. And now I can just, I can, and why does that matter? Let me, uh, this is what I need to ask you is why does it matter versus like, how can you tell I'm not engaged? Like why, if I'm hitting all the notes, I'm doing those things and how do my cells know? Like what, what is that? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. 
it's funny you mentioned about tomatoes because this um, Friday I have the radio show in in, in uh, San Francisco Bay Area and um, and we left off last week about papaya seeds so she wants me to talk about papaya seeds and papaya seeds contain papain which in culinary you can use that to like tenderize um, so if you roast your papaya seeds you can then leverage the papain to help with indigestion and things like that but i i was thinking of contrasting with tomato seeds which contain solanine and and other terrible things in fact it's used as an insecticide um so you know if, if you were to eat and you know like do those tomato seeds taste really good like why do you why do you put that in there and if you look at italian cooking they 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 take away the tomato seeds and the skin you know which doesn't leave much tomato right when you think about it, you know but the tomato is a nightshade it's not you know it's not the um and, and, and in fact, people used to call that like, um, you know, in ancient times before the tomato got got reduced to um, to a mass usage, that it was it was viewed as as um, as a very toxic substance. Um, so um, so I'll, I'll probably I was thinking of contrasting that um, that and not everything you can just read in journals because in order to get someone to um, focus on that topic, especially a scientist is, um, is that, or some, many scientists is you have to have funding. I wouldn't have touched music um, had I not gotten some funding for it. Um, my wife has been with me for 15 years. I have a friend, we've been friends for 20 years. She works at Warner, Warner she worked at Warner Music. Um, and two people I knew, one is Doug Frank, and the other one is Mel. And uh, Bo Doug was the former president of uh, music, Warner Music. So the guy could play music. I didn't know. Mel told me that because we, Mel and I have been friends for longer. And she worked under Carter Armstrong. So you'd think that I would have had a conversation in 20 years. When we have a conversation, it goes for like, um, it can go for like, um, um, I, an example is four or five hours. Okay. And we go deep. But I have never talked with her about music. And then last week, right, we talked about music. And she said, uh, yeah, I'm so glad you talked to me about music because she can sing. She can perform. And she's the one that shared with me Doug can play. And she shared a little bit about this, about this to me, is that Doug grew up poor in Brooklyn. And so he always used his music to make a, you know, to make a living, to make an impact. Um, but... Um, but when he met with me, it was like, how can I extract from this individual an opportunity? He, he's represented people like Celine Dion and things like that. So he's looking at me. So I'm, sh I'm sharing with him my science. I've never once asked him about the music um, or, or, or Mel about her music. And, um, and so they sent me some music. <laughs> she sent me some music, um, Arethra, right? And she sent me her, her, her music. And, and I said, oh, wow, you're, you're way too advanced for me. <laughs> <laughs> the way she sent me and what she, what Aretha did to the Obamas when she performed, and I said, but then it grew on me uh, over time. I said, what is this about? And I had to ask you, right? I had to ask you. And you, since you mentioned Neil Diamond, one of the songs we ended with was Neil Diamond, uh, "Sweet Caroline," and and I had sang "Sweet Caroline" previously with you, but I didn't do it. In the way where the lyrics meant anything, I was just singing. So what I did earlier, and it was like this. Where it began, I can't begin to know when, but then I know it's growing strong. Was in the spring, and spring became the summer. Who'd have believed you'd come along? Hands, touching hands, reaching out, touching me, touching you, sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. Good times never seem so good. I've been inclined, ba ba ba, to believe they never would, but now I. Look at the night, 
And it don't seem so lonely. We filled it up with only two. And when I hurt, hurting runs off my shoulders. How can I hurt when holding you? Warm, touching warm, reaching out, touching me, touching you. Sweet Caroline, ba ba bum. Good times never seem so good. Oh, oh, oh. So I would end it like that, and you know, it's um, I got into it. How? Why does that? And so, are you saying that when I'm speaking, I should I like if you look back at my TED talk, and I should be more into it, just like the songs, as into it like that. Oh, wow. Were you born this way, Katie? When you were at Marriott and all that beforehand, were you, were you, were you like right there when you were in high school and, you know, or did something happen along the way? Like, wow, well, how do you know this? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 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 What's that? That's deep. It must be deep listening. <laughs> and then, you know, yeah. Right. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Right. And then here you are, you have your hands curled. Yeah. 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 Or the, yeah, I see. Body language. Okay. Hmm. 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 Different Gordon, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
And, and, and I guess if, you, if I listen to um, Princess Diana speak, someone like that, it's a, it's a, it's a versus Martin Luther King, let's say. So, you know, they, Princess Diana is, is, is warm and nurturing. The speech I have a dream is not that kind of speech, right? Um, or if I listen to former President Reagan speak, or, or they're, they're different, and the mood is different. Um, and if you, I prefer the Princess Diana side of how, I don't know why I, why do I do, why do I prefer that? I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Former President Obama did that very well. Like he wasn't Princess Di, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't just speaking as a president or when he was running for it. He 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 brought both of those together, and I, I I like that, you know, and that's just um, um, yeah. And when I when I listen to this stuff, I I've noticed that it's something about your heart that attracts um, listeners, um, and and it's not measurable. It's not something that I. It's tangible. It's almost like the trust you were sharing about. You you can't measure trust, but you can you can you, you know it's there. You know it's there, um, and and it's really powerful. Like like my relationship with my my daughters improves when they see me singing. It's like bizarre. It's like really bizarre. It, they they learn so much English from me singing English songs, and they also learn Chinese. And then all day long they'll be singing all these tunes, um, and it's. Um, it's really miraculous. I have to have this in my house now that I that I, I've experienced this because it completes them in ways that that doing math problems and science really doesn't. Right? It just they have to have that part. And so, so I don't know. This is um, it must be for them. I'm just a gateway. I happen to have come into this opportunity uh, because COVID affected so many people with their uh, breathing. Um, and there's more interest now into songs and singing, but then sharing that with you, um, you know, you're, you, you're, you're a very, so back to my question, were you born this way? Hmm. Wow. Right, right. Hmm. Hmm.
Hmm. That's how I've been able to do a lot of these business deals and other things is oftentimes I'll, yeah, I'll go in it thinking for me, but then I'll also try to think about it for them, for the other, right? And then when I do that, I see the other perspective, right? Um, and um, yeah, how much they have to lose, how much they have to gain, how much you know, they have in this, um, and, um, yeah, and, and oftentimes it improves the navigation and the dynamics of the, of the team because I have thought of them. I have put myself in their shoes, but also in their place. And, 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 and that's how I, I think that that's the, that's probably the secret of um, many things I do is I, I think about the other person. I think about the interviewer. Um, how could I uh, show an interview that could, um, that could benefit them? Right? Because I've been interviewed before, but uh, maybe I can show a different side, a little bit different because I, I noticed that they're open to that. Um, and, um, and I've even brought one uh, case up is, is, is that, um, you know, education, which is uh, front and center for me now with my kids and homeschooling, because everything I do, I can't go back in time later on to do it. They're constantly growing and evolving. And as I compare the education I went through, which is through uh, privates and, and, and public schools, um, both platforms were focused on a bell curve. And this bell curve is, do, where do you fit on the bell curve? Are you an outlier or not? But generally speaking, it was the bell curve. And, and if I had to um, compare that to industrial America, when Ford came up with the assembly line, people could make more because they all had their roles and their things to play. But to make that machine work, you had to sell a lot of whatever the item was. And it might have been Kraft Singles. It might have been um, Heinz Ketchup. But then one day along comes the internet and now it got smashed. That whole model, we're no longer in the industrial age and, and it's about finding the real you. It's like, where, where are you in this? Uh, why should everyone have Heinz ketchup and things like that? Why should you even have ketchup at all? You might want mustard or mayonnaise. God bless you. Yeah, so, um, so when you start thinking about how that model's been broken, um, maybe it should have never been. It was just a necessary dynamic, but, but people want to be cared for and uniqueness and individualized. And so is it, does it cost that much more to listen to them um, and to be there? Um, I think that in science, I, I, I've exuded that when I come up with different uh, things, but how do you speak that way? Well, you speak that way. I, it was so different for me until I became a father and I started looking at their education and then I started seeing what was wrong of how, what we had set up before. Um, just like in, individuals that get older, they were part of the industrial age, but then they got shuffled along to let's not even see the elderly. Let's put them somewhere so we don't see it, right? Um, but how we eventually it'll be our turn, right? If we keep doing that, then you'll never change the outcome. But if we, um, if we pause, just like the songs and, and the lyrics, we pause and we start thinking about it. I mean, Neil Diamond, that, that song, 1969, that was in 1969. So, so these, these individuals who are older, these were their songs. Definitely they were their songs. And, um, and the last song we, I did with, um, with um, Diane was... Um, was smile, uh, Nat King Cole, and and um, and that that was also a positive twist. I changed it because originally it was the way we were. I changed it from Barbara Streisand to Smile because I wanted to keep the whole recording to be uh, positive music. Um, it went fast. I mean, we we finished with um, extra time, but Smile. 
I needed to add some brightness to it. Like it was, smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. If you smile through your fears and sorrows, smile, and maybe tomorrow you see the sun come shining through for you. Light up your face with gladness, hide every trace of sadness. Although our tears may be ever so near, that's the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile and um yeah oh i you you, you you did that move you was that was that good i wasn't focused on the singing anymore i focused on the meaning and um and that that 80 20 shift from 2080 made a massive difference I think that that was, um, and I think I lacked that when I was performing my first TED Talk on graphene. Um, they were raising $80 million, and that was on my head. In my mind, I couldn't really speak about how important it is. But on April 15th, I will. You know, it'll be, it'll be, we have a chance to use better materials. But just like that Heinz example, well, we can't let go of this other way because it makes good money. You know, uh, the, the, the way we continue to do things, we, we just, but somehow at, during the stone age, we didn't run out of stones, right? So, and we, we were willing to make that change. What does it take us to make that change now? There's climate change. There's a lack of recyclability of many of these items. And then, um, and then also, um, you know, the conditions have changed. Uh, we, we, can't, we were not accounting for all the damage we were creating. We were just looking at profits for profits. And now, you know, why is it that when you, if someone is working on a job and they, they decide to leave, why is it that if you give them a financial raise, it doesn't work the second time or third time or sometimes not even the first? Why doesn't it work? Um, and that if you look at certain types of jobs, if it was for a Walmart or, um, you know, and you're just putting stuff into the shelves, um, those kinds of things, you, you, it could, you could get by with that. But for something higher level, it doesn't work. Um, perhaps because we, we are human, right? We're more human than we make it out to be these days. And, um, and we need purpose in our lives. Without purpose... We're, we're an empty shell, or we're no different than an animal. Yeah, yeah. And so if that's true, which is why songs, you know, people listen to those songs, and, and, um, and Diane mentioned that Bruce Springsteen was screaming uh, at one point on this, a song. He wasn't on, like, the tune and pitch perfectly, um, just like Neo. He just sings it nowadays, right? He just sings it, uh, but he doesn't sing it, like you said, as a cover. Bruce Springsteen wasn't singing that. He was engaged in the song. I think people, people have through the ages, all kinds of ages, have have looked for that. And I, I finally understand that from like it was like it shifted over into other things I wasn't good at. And I those the imperfect stuff, and uh, the imperfect stuff is what makes us um, perfect somehow. I, I want imperfect. I enjoy imperfect. Um, uh, there's no, there's no, there's no fear of that, and um, I, I'm a much more lovable father when I'm imperfect, right? And I just sing, and then when I see them pause, like, and they they're listening to it, if I ask them, um, the five year old, the seven year old, that's the indicator. <laughs> that's the indicator, and they they say, well, that that's just different. They don't know all the vocabulary, but 
but they they can feel the difference yeah how do you how do you know that right yeah Hmm. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, math and music, <laughs> right? They don't write the math and the art. They just, it's just not, these are two, we've talked about polarity. That's a polarity for sure. Yeah, math is so logical. It is a language. Um, it's a language of logic and, and truth, right? Math is true. But it, it doesn't get to the heart though. Yeah. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a transformation of of um of sorts. Um it it's it's um uh, I couldn't stop. The time I did this when I first discovered this was Wednesday night at around eight to nine o'clock. And once I discovered this my wife and I, we and my daughters, we were up until three in the morning, constantly going through. I go, let me try it with this song. Let me try it with Edelweiss. Let me try it with this one. And it worked on all of them until I got to Unchained Melody. And it didn't work because I was singing it like I was there. Unchained Melody, the guy's gone, right? And so he's singing as a ghost, right? And and that requires a different feeling and I wanted to ask you quickly about that is um, why couldn't I sing Unchained Melody like I'm singing Neil Diamond oh I was still on Neil Diamond when I was doing that right and then and then and then Unchained Melody it's like well my wife could tell me that right away she said the guy's screaming out, Whoa, my love, my darling. She's like, I've hungered for your touch. And it's been a long, lonely time. A long, lonely time. You got to mean it, right? You got to mean it. Versus if you just sing it like, you know, oh, you know, it's the summer, it's the spring, you know, that doesn't doesn't feel it and um and so so she could tell me right away um, she doesn't have this problem i have it from doing too much math and yet she's better in math and physics than i am and that's what makes me love her so much in the sense that until until i i had this high school stuff and and, and made it so much front and center i used to do it all the time but i didn't make it front and center and then she the physics and the math flows through her. I'll give you an example of from the book um, Fast and, and, and a Slow Think. He presents something about a math problem. And immediately, because it's a ball and a bat, he's doing the difference in the calculation, I use X and Y. And that slows me down. She used X for all of them because she knew that Y wasn't necessary. I said, how do you know that? Please teach our daughters. Don't let me touch them. Because... because because I saw ball and bat, I'm using two different variables. Now, obviously, if you didn't use your math brain, you just use your fast brain, you would just do the difference, like in this example, and then you get it wrong. But because I'm watching him on video and he says it's a trick, then I, my mind is now into the trick, and then I'm looking, all right, ball and bat, okay, X and Y. But even the X and Y was wrong. It's, a, it's like, let it flow. I said, Teresa, how do you know how to do that? That's just so amazing. I am so flawed when it comes to that. And even in music. Um, and she said, once I get emotional into it, I can hit the pitch. I can hit the notes. It's no longer about hitting the pitch for the pitch and then making sure everything is technically there um, because that's how I remember singing. But that was wrong. It's like the X and Y. Just let it go. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes, yes.
Yes. I've had some students who've had a concussion before and they couldn't see the screen. But what that, that reinforced was that I had to move their heart and their minds with the math problem or the biology and I, and I suggested that they tell a story about how the cells worked and how the mechanics worked. And if they can create a story and they believed it too, they could learn it. And this girl got the highest score in the country. So it was one of the top ranking uh, students and but she had the concussion and she couldn't look at the screen people said well now what are you going to do and it was at that moment that my it wasn't about my interest it was about her and you know you got a test coming up how do you and once you turn it into a story you won't forget the story because you created that story um, and that's the that was the secret in, um, in in undoing some of these things is just because you see the word ball and bat don't try to create two variables. I mean, two variables means you have to have two equations. That you memorize. And then so you're on, but the, the whole thing was, why do you need two variables? That It's not about just the two equations. It's just a relationship. And um, But she could immediately do that. And they do that very well when the Chinese language. But in the English language, I'm like, every time I see something totally different, two different variables, right? And that's the, and it was like an epidemic across the country. Right, <laughs> and the, having that other language changes it, and I think that music and coaching and what we're talking about, language and emotions, that's that other language of the, of the speaking. Right, yeah. Thank you for saving me. You've saved me from my 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 terrible self. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 